welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I am a lover of handbags. So today we're unboxing one from Loungefly. I recently saw this a couple weeks ago when I went to FEO Schwartz with my fiance and I saw this bag and I had to have it. It is my favorite Disney princess, which is Cinderella. So let's talk about it. First things first, there is a different version of this that is more of a traditional backpack, like those mini backpacks that Loungefly has. I didn't see that one until I chose this one. That one's also a little bit pricier. I think that's like a hundred dollars depending on what store you're buying it from so i did get this at feo shorts but i did see this on amazon loungefly's website etc etc it is very cute i do like the size of it so on one side you have the cinderella castle you have the fairy godmother and then the carriage that cinderella uses in order to get to the castle for the ball and it's shaped like a 3d little coin purse so it's like two bags in one i guess technically it's a little coin purse it's circular it has a cute gold zipper and I really like that detailing. I think it makes it really special. And then on the other side, we have Cinderella and her transformation from that classic beautiful pink dress that her sisters ruin. And then the inevitable silver bluish ball gown that the fairy godmother gives her. I'm actually a really big fan of the pink um, ball gown or the pink dress that she has prior to it getting ruined by her stepsisters. I really love that and I feel like I think it's very underrepresented in the Cinderella merch. Like I would love to have seen more of that pink dress because it's so beautiful with the big beautiful pink bows. I think originally last year for Halloween I did intend on being Cinderella with the pink dress because I had been Cinderella with the 2015 live action film but I didn't end up going with it because 2020 was such a disaster. But yeah I think the detailing is beautiful. I really like the art style for these bags in particular and normally I don't really like the Cinderella the way she's drawn now compared to how she was in my childhood I am a child of the 90s and it's it's a little bit different but in this regard like in this instance I don't mind the change and I think this in particular is very cute I like the color of the bag and of course on the inside there's some stuffing so I do have to get rid of that but there's also a longer strap which is handy for me because I'm not someone who really likes holding my bags like this or holding them on the crook of my elbow it's just not very comfortable for me so I do enjoy having a longer strap strap that I could either put crossbody or on my shoulder. It's just more helpful for me. But let me know what kind of style you prefer when it comes to holding your bags down in the comment section. Overall, I think this is gorgeous. I found a similar wallet that might be a part of this collection. I mean, I know it is, but like, you know, sometimes Loungefly has very specific wallets that are like, you can tell are paired with each bag. With this one, I couldn't really figure it out. Um, so it might be this one, which is kind of a larger wallet. I wish they had done one that was smaller. But I guess because there's a coin purse in there, they might not have thought to do that. I don't know. I'm not sure. But this retails for $70 at FAO Schwartz, which is like a big Manhattan toy store. It's super overwhelming. There's just so much going on. But this was the last bag they had of this at the time. I'm sure they had more in the back. So I snatched it. I'm happy with it. I haven't bought a lounge fly bag in a really long time. It's funny I say that because right after I bought this one, then I did kind of go on a shopping spree. But generally, I haven't been buying from Loungefly, Loungefly too much because it's just, it adds up a little bit. $70, $60, $85, some of their bags are like $100 now. It's just a lot sometimes and I don't always feel like they hold up. I think it depends on how careful you are. And I'll admit, I'm not a super cautious, careful person when it comes to my handbags unless they're all white. In which case, I, I rarely get any use out of them because I know that I'm prone to accidents and spillage and just getting makeup on my bags in the weirdest ways possible so I don't ever risk it but I saw this bag and like I said Cinderella is my favorite favorite princess since I was a little girl and my mom used to put me in front of the tv to watch it on VHS so I'm happy with it I think it's gorgeous let me know what you think there's also a really cute one that a uh, country girl showed me she's a longtime subscriber of this channel she showed me a Beauty and the Beast one that I thought was stunning but I haven't seen that in stores or anything so we'll see so yeah that's pretty much all I have to say about this bag I'm happy with it it's gorgeous I do have some Dumbo bags coming in soon because of my birthday that was a gift that I ended up getting so stay tuned for that I have some Dumbo ones. I have another Cinderella lounge fly bag. The one with the pearls. I love it. Stunning. If you want to see that unboxing, I'll put it in the cards as well as down below. And thank you so much if you made it to the end of this video. I really, really appreciate it. Special thanks to my channel members for helping support this channel through difficult times. It has been <laughs> so chaotic. It never ends. But here's hoping that the rest of 2021 is a decent year. Same to you. Stay safe out there. And until next time. Bye.